Okay, so we are on the second day of content, and we're talking about the two things to do before you start blogging. In the written portion of this post before this video, we talked about the one of the first things to do before you start blogging is to choose your theme. And then we started talking about the second thing you need to do is customize that theme. So what I'm going to do real quick now is show you how to use the widgets that come with your WordPress website, customize those widgets, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you what a widget is. Then I'm going to share with you one of my favorite plugins for adding social media icons to the sidebar. And it's kind of cool because it saves you a lot of time and it lets you just customize that sidebar even more. And we do it with a simple plugin. So let's look at the widget inside your WordPress website. So if you go ahead and log in to WordPress, you come to your dashboard settings. And over here on the left hand side, in the navigation menu on the left, I'm going to click on Appearance. And when I click on that, I have several options underneath Appearance. One of those options is called Widget. I'm going to click on Widget. And that's going to open up another window and give me all kinds of options that I have to customize my sidebar widget. So this is what it looks like after you click on Widget. And some of you are probably thinking, well, what in the world is a widget? Let me go out here and show you on a live website what a widget is. At least this is what it looks like. This is a test site that I'm using. And over here on the right-hand side, underneath the search bar, actually includes the search bar, this little right panel where you see all these links that say that pose, recent comments, archives, even the search bar. This is called a sidebar widget. Okay? And so that is what that is when you go back into your WordPress website and you look underneath appearance and click widget. This is how you get to customize what shows up on that right hand side of the page. Okay? In that sidebar widget. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag a few of the Standard options. These options over on the left-hand side came standard with this WordPress install. So from top to bottom, I have archives, which is, it logs all of my posts as archives. I have categories. I have links. I can add pages, like a little menu, a sub-menu of all my pages. I can also add recent posts. Let's drag recent posts over here into the main sidebar. Okay, number of posts to show, you can choose that. I'm going to leave it at five. Here is the thing about sidebar widgets. You have to click the blue Save button or they won't show up. And I'm going to click Save. And that's the recent post widget. It should come up on the top of your sidebar. So let's go back out to our live site and show you what that just did. I'm going to hit Refresh. Okay, I just adjusted my sidebar widget. Before, if you can remember, the search bar was on the top. Now my recent posts are on the top, and that is because I just made adjustments to my sidebar widget. I'll show you one more of the, these are the ones that came standard, remember, with WordPress. I haven't done any plugins yet. So I'll show you how you can add one more. Let's drag over this text widget. Let's say I want that on top of my recent post. In the text widget, I don't have a whole lot of options, but what this does is it lets me add just about anything I want to add to my WordPress sidebar. And I can type in any text. I can give it a title. Let's say I want to just maybe add a friendly greeting. Welcome to our website is what I'm typing here. And just a little quick greeting. I'm just giving you an example right now using just plain text just to show you, and remember to click that blue save button, that the text 
widget allows you to add just about anything to your sidebar. I'm going to come back out to the live site and hit refresh, and you will see where that has been entered. This is what I just typed right here. Okay, so that sidebar widget has been added. Now, let's go back to do one of my favorite things, and that is add social media icons to the sidebar widget. How we're going to do that is we are going to actually go to our plugin and add a new plugin called Social Stickers. It's one of my favorites, um, and it's one of my favorites because it's the easiest, and they have several options built within the plugin, and they just give you a few more options so that you don't have to have the exact same social media icons as everybody else. And so I'm going to go to my plugin and click on Add New. So I just hovered over Plugin and click Add New. I'm going to search for the plugin. I already know the name of it. It's called Social Sticker. And I'm going to click Search Plugin. <clears throat> okay, and it did come up first. And I'm going to click Install now. Oh, before I move on, remember earlier in this post, in the written portion of the post, I shared with you when you're choosing a theme, try to choose one that has at least four to five stars. I use the same guidelines. For choosing plugins. Plugins have the tendency, the developers of the plugins have the tendency to abandon the plugin, and if they don't keep it updated, you could have it installed on your site and all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore. And the last time they updated the thing was two years ago. You don't want that to happen. So choose one that has a good rating, and you can also click on the details and it will tell you whether or not that version of the plugin works with your version of WordPress. And it will also tell you the last time it was updated. And anytime you install a plugin or a theme, you just want to look at that because if they have not updated the plugin or the theme in a while, chances are they're not going to update it anytime soon. And you don't want to be stuck with something that doesn't work for you in the long term. Okay, so this is loaded now, and it is compatible up to the thing that I have installed, the WordPress version that I have installed here. And it has Free rating, all five stars. And the last time it was updated, nine days ago. That, that's not too long ago. So I feel comfortable that this one has been updated recently and we can install now. So I'm clicking on the install button. Successfully install plugin social stickers. And now I'm going to go back to my WordPress website, back to the plugin, to make sure that it's there. And then since it's been installed, I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to my social stickers plugin. Same thing with the theme. Whenever you choose a theme with WordPress and you install it for the first time, it's not live until you activate it. So first I have to activate my plugin. So I'm clicking on activate. Okay, now it's been activated. Right here at the top of the page, it's plug-in activated. All right, now what I want to do is go to my settings of the plug-in. Usually when you activate a plug-in, if you hover over settings, you should see the name of that plug-in that you just activated. So I'm going to click on social stickers. And it's loading. All right. So here are my options after I have installed social stickers onto my WordPress website. It lets me pick what they call a theme. Simple icons is their default. And once I choose one of these and start, start the settings, it'll show me what it looks like. So let's just leave it on their default for now. And then what size do you want it? 32 pixels is about the average. Most sites have about 32 pixels. 64 is kind of big. So you want to play around with this. If you only have one or two social media profiles that you want to display in your sidebar widget, choose a bigger icon. If you have several, like most of us do, you want to stick with a small icon. Okay? And let's go. 
all the way down. They have several settings. I'm going to ch check off open link in the window. I actually want people to open it in a new window so they don't have to leave my actual page when they go to my social media profile. All the other things I'm going to leave blank because they're not necessarily important for you. Okay, so coming down to the section where it has configure your social network right here. As you can see, there are several social networks that this plugin allows you to connect to your WordPress website. That's the other reason I really like this one is because they have covered most of the ground for me and I don't have to go hunting around for all these icons. They have them built right into the plugin. So that's just crazy. All right, so the ones that I know most of you have, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my username for the profiles. You will fill in your username, okay? So for Facebook, my username is content. Miss Lane, right? And for let's go down to Twitter. Actually, I just saw Instagram. If um, you're not familiar with Instagram, just go to Google and Google Instagram, and you'll find out. It's a picture sharing um, platform. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to fill in that one. If you're on Instagram, just put your username for Instagram there. There's also one for LinkedIn. That one. Oh. Okay, and I saw one for Pinterest. I was anxious to get down to that one as well. Pinterest. All right. So here is one thing that I wanted to share with you too. See how all of my usernames are pretty much the same. They are the same on all my platforms. You want to try to do that with your platform. Keep everything consistent and help people find you quicker, and your life will be much easier. You don't have to keep maintaining all of these usernames. Try to keep them consistent and also important for your brand. And since we're talking about customizing your web presence, keep that in mind as well for your social media profile. So keep your brand consistent. Okay, and so my Twitter username is at Consult Ms. Lane. I'm going to fill that one in too. I'm going to hit update options. Okay, and see, it shows me now that I have added my username, it actually shows me what those icons will look like once I go to add them to my social media profile. See that right here? So it's giving me, giving me like a preview. I'm pretty happy with that. Here's the thing. It asks you social media stickers order. If you don't like that Facebook comes first and then Instagram and then LinkedIn, you can change the order of them and they give you instructions right here. Right here. It says click on the icon, hold it, and move it around to change the order. So let's just do that. Let's say I want to move Pinterest around onto the other side of Twitter. See, I just clicked it and I held on to it and I dragged it over. Another cool thing about this plugin, I love it. Okay, so my, I'm going to come down to save just one more time since I did move that around. Click update. And now that the page is loaded, I can come back out to my live website and refresh. I'm going to show you before we add the widget. Okay. All right. So this is the page before I add my social media icon. Okay. Let's go back over to the plugin settings. I've already set it up the way I want it to look. Now I have to go back to my widget. So go to appearance and widget. And now, in addition to the standard widgets that came with WordPress, I should see one for social stickers now, and that's how I know how, that's where I'm going to pull that widget into my sidebar. And so let's look right here towards the bottom of my widget. I see it right here, social stickers. That was not there before we added our plugin, okay? All right, so 
that plugin gave us options to set up our icon and it added another widget for us to make it real easy to put it in the sidebar. So now let's go and drag social stickers widget. I'm going to drag it to the top, making it the first one. And remember I said you have to click the blue button to save it. But before I say, I'm going to add a title and say, let be social. And I'm going to save. And refresh my page, and we should be in business. All right. I think that's pretty cool. I hope you do too. And I hope you have enjoyed learning how to add social media icons to your WordPress sidebar widget using a plugin called Social Pickers. Have a beautiful day.